In this quick tip guide to using the Havoc Tracker application, I want to take you through a few of the options that are available in the settings dialog. Each tracker has its own settings dialog, and even though your tracker, for the sleep tracker at least, is predefined, you can still change your tracker's name in it. So if you wanted to change the name to be your username, Uh, because I may also be tracking the sleep patterns of my son or daughter and I wish to differentiate between the different sleep trackers then I can change the name in there. Additionally to this I may wish to keep the information in my tracker hidden and in order to do that I can just select that hidden checkbox and then nobody else who uses the website will be able to see your tracker at all so the information will be completely private to you. Finally, in the other tab, there's two options I really want to take you through. The first one is the number of columns that are shown in your tracker. At the moment, the default value for a screen of my size is actually 31, so it will show all the available data for the whole month going backwards. However, for a smaller screen, the default value changes. So when I look at my tracker on my tablet computer, then I find I only get seven columns or maybe 14 columns depending on the size of the screen available. Now that's an automatic feature but you may actually wish to lock the number of columns shown across all computers. So if I change that and I just switch that down to 14 then when I eventually click save what I'll find is rather than having the full number of 31 columns all the way across the tracker I will only see 14 days worth of data in there. The final feature I'd like to show you in here is the minus segment height. This is a feature for people who are having trouble adding entries because of the size of the segment and their ability to be able to control the mouse. So if maybe you have a slightly shaky hand when you're using the mouse what you can do is increase that minus segment height in order so that the segments are now much larger and this means you need to be less accurate when you're adding data to your tracker. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes now. What we will find when the dialog box closes is the tracker will be re-rendered and recreated for us. And this is exactly the same as normally happens when you load the application and your tracker is shown to you. You can see already that the name of the tracker has changed to Doa Sleep, so I can now have several different user sleep patterns being tracked within the Habit Tracker application. You can also see that there are no longer as many columns being shown. Rather than having 31 columns, we now only have the 14 columns that we selected in the other tab of the settings dialog. Finally, there is now a scroll bar along here because we increased the minor segment height. And this means that the minor segment at the moment is set to 15 minute intervals because we're tracking our sleep pattern to an accuracy of 15 minutes. If I wish to add an entry there, as usual, I would select the entry type I wish to, to enter. And if I slept for an hour and a half between 8 and 9.30, it's now much easier to hit those target segments of 15 minutes because they're now so much larger. I have to move the mouse much, much further in order to be able to hit those target segments. So it now becomes an awful lot easier to add in to one and a half hours. So that's a useful feature for people who are having trouble using their mouse accurately enough on the smaller segment size trackers.